Hey everybody, welcome back to Retro Tech Toys. I have these Xbox Mini games. These were initially released in 2005, and I believe another set came out in 2006 or 7. Uh, there were roughly four or five of these per release. I've got the Ladybug Mutant game and the football game. These were priced at $3 a piece, but I got them for a deal, so I ended up paying 5 bucks for both of them all together. Uh, you used to find these in cereal boxes, uh, specifically Kellogg cereal boxes. They've been sitting in this packaging for 15 years, and I really don't know if they're any good. Let's find out. We're going to open them up. All right, we've got two screws here. We might try to take them apart just to see what's inside, and we might have to fix the battery. Who knows? These things are, what, 15 years old, so you never know if you've got to fix the battery or you have to do something else. And here are the instructions for football in English, and if you flip to the other side, it looks like we've got the instructions in Spanish. So there you go, if you want to pause and read those at any point. Now let's go ahead and open the Mutant game up. Man, these are packaged just like those cereal box toys always were, just in the little weird plastic. This one looks a little funky on the screen, I don't know, let's see if they work. I'd be surprised if the batteries haven't leaked all over the place. Like I said, we're going to have to take them apart probably. And I don't have a screwdriver that fits that, but we'll come up with something. Here's the instructions for the Mutant game. So here they are, and we have to click it on. And uh, I don't think these are going to work, to be honest with you. I, I don't see how these will possibly work. And yeah, it didn't click on. I'm not sure if I had to do something else. We may have to fix the battery. Let me mess with it for a second. And whoop, let me try to press that button. Uh, okay, press the button in. Oh my gosh, these things actually work still. These things are 15 years old. Look at that. I'm playing football, tiger style, on an Xbox Mini that's football shaped. Oh man, this is so cool. Uh, the, there is sound, but my microphone struggles to pick it up because it is so quiet. I mean, basically, it just sounds like the beeps and boops that you'd be used to in a Tiger game. Um, gosh, man, I remember playing those things back in the 90s. I had uh, Simon's Quest, the Tiger version of that, and it was awful, and I loved it. So, <laughs> this could have been a lot of fun back then. Like, you know, you reach in your cereal box, and boom, there's a freaking Tiger game. But, of course, back in the 90s, we didn't have Xbox, and... I don't even know if you could have gotten something this small. I mean, I guess you probably could. I don't know. But yeah, this football game actually works. I am so surprised this thing works. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'm going to flip this one off, and we're going to check the other game to see if it works. So let's pick it up. Let's turn it on. There we go. That button's a little weird. And let's hit the button and see what happens. Oh my gosh, this one works too. That is insane. I mean, they've been sitting dormant for 15 years, still in their plastic. And uh, nothing's leaked. The battery still has power. I mean, it's not powering very much. Just this tiny, tiny, tiny little screen. But that's really surprising. And this is the same deal. Uh, the audio was really, really quiet, kind of hard to pick up. But it's there, it beeps, it boops, you know what it does. And, uh, gosh, these are so neat, man. And, uh, I don't know too much of the history behind them. I assume Microsoft and Kellogg's entered into a licensing agreement where they put these cute little toys inside of cereal boxes. It's probably to promote the Xbox and, uh, you know, you'd sell more cereal if you had a toy that did cool stuff in the box, so... I think that's kind of it. Um, so that's it. What I'd like to do is maybe take it apart to see what makes the thing tick. I mean, it looked like it was just two screws. That came out pretty easily. We got one more. And I feel like this should probably just lift right off after that. That's not coming loose at all, so that's a little weird. I can't figure anything... Okay, it's... 
Maybe it's got a couple of clips. I'm going to take it off a of camera and see if I can pry it open. And, uh, crap, I can't. And I'm noticing that there's a little bit of glue. So it looks like they've super glued it down as well as screwed it in. And I don't want to break it. So I'm just going to put it back together. I may go buy another one. And if I do that, I will, um, take this ladybug that's got a funky screen and that'll be the guinea pig. We'll just pry that baby apart. But I don't want to right now because I want to make sure I can get another one that works for my collection before I do that. So I'm going to put this back together and uh, I may post pictures of this in the discussion section on my channel. You know, once I do get it taken apart, um, that would probably be the best. I don't know if it's worth doing an entire video over just that but I'm gonna get these back together and uh, that's all I've got for now and I uh, do appreciate you guys watching I just wanted to share these with you because they are so cool and I didn't see a lot of videos about them uh, I'm gonna include some screenshots of the various ones that came out at the end of this video so be sure to check that out as always we'll see you next time thanks for watching retro tech toys